टू स्टोरीज अबाउट फ्लाइंग नंबर टू ब्लैक एरोप्लेन बाय फ्रेडरिक फोर साइथ द मून वॉज कमिंग अप इन द ईस्ट बिहाइंड मी एंड स्टार्स वॉज शाइनिंग इन द क्लियर स्काय अबव मी देर वॉज इन द क्लाउड इन द स्काय I was happy to be alone high up above the sleeping countryside. I was flying my old Dakota aeroplane over France back to England. I was dreaming of my holiday and looking forward to being with my family. I looked at my watch. 1:30 in the morning. I should call Paris control soon, I thought. As I looked down past the nose of the aeroplane, I saw the lights of a big city in front of me. I switched on the radio and said, "Paris Control Dakota DS zero eight eight here. Can you hear me? I'm on my way to England. Over." The voice from the radio answered me immediately. DS zero eight eight, I can hear you. You ought to turn twelve degrees west now. DS zero eight eight, over. I checked the map and the compass. switched over to my second and last fuel tank and turned the dakota 12 degrees west towards england i'll be in time for breakfast i thought a good big english breakfast everything was going well it was an easy flight paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when i saw the clouds storm clouds they were huge they looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky I knew I could not fly up and over them and I did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or south. I ought to go back to Paris I thought but I wanted to get home I wanted that breakfast. I'll take the risk I thought and flew that old Dakota straight into the storm. Inside the clouds everything was suddenly black. It was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane. The old aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air. I looked at the compass. I couldn't believe my eyes. The compass was turning round and round and round. It was dead. It would not work. The other instruments were suddenly dead too. I tried the radio. Paris control, Paris control, can you hear me? There was no answer. The radio was dead too. I had no radio, no compass. and i could not see where i was i was lost in the storm then in the black clouds quite near me i saw another aeroplane it had no lights on its wings but i could see it flying next to me through the storm i could see the pilot's face turned towards me i was very glad to see another person he lifted one hand and waved follow me he was saying follow me He knows that I am lost I thought he's trying to help me he turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my dakota so that it would be easier for me to follow him i was very happy to go behind the strange aeroplane like an obedient child after half an hour the strange black aeroplane was still there in front of me in the clouds now There was only enough fuel in the old Dakota's last tank to fly for 5 to 10 minutes more. I was starting to feel frightened again. But then he started to go down and I followed through the storm. Suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. It was a runway, an airport. I was safe. I turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane. but the sky was empty there was nothing there the black aeroplane was gone i could not see it anywhere i landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old dakota near the control tower i went and asked a woman in the control center where i was and who the other pilot was i wanted to say thank you she looked at me very strangely and then laughed another aeroplane up there in this storm no other aeroplanes were flying tonight yours was the only one i could see on the radar so who helped me to arrive there safely without a compass or a radio and without any more fuel in my tanks 
Who was the pilot on the strange black aeroplane flying in the storm without lights? If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.